we got a text saying that we had a meeting in the AC, and so everybody's thinking it was just about athletics. So we got in there, and he was like, uh, I'm deciding I'm going to retire. I'm going to step down. And I, it was just quiet. Like, I was shocked. I, I, it was nothing any of us was expecting. He didn't tell any of the coaches. He didn't tell the managers. He said the only people he told was his wife and, and Little Fish, Mark Fish. So, but, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. He Honestly, it's about time. Like, you, you've been working all these years, so he deserves a rest. And I know he probably won't get much of a rest, but it, it's, it's, it's deserving. How about Coach Dutch? You know, he's been on the sidelines yeah. right, right beside him for the longest time, and now he kind of, like you said, gets to take that 18-inch that uh, step over to the head seat. Right. I mean, Coach Dutch is, he's, I mean, he's the same as Coach Fish. They're both very knowledgeable when it comes to basketball. They're both really caring human beings. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to just having Coach Dutch uh, in the head coach seat. And he called me yesterday just saying how excited he was to get to work. And, and I just told him how deserving it was for him to finally get that job. So I'm happy for him. Uh, just first, the relationship. Um, you know, most coaches that recruit you, they try to, you know, uh, they talk to you more like a coach-player type conversation. I felt with Coach Fish, it was always different. Um, he'd always, you know, like uh, JD said, he would always talk to him about his wife first. Uh, whenever we were on the phone, he'd always ask uh, how I'm doing, my family, you know, how's the high school season go? He's not really worried about basketball at that particular moment. So that was one thing that always stuck out. Um, just, I always, comfort is a big thing with me and I felt comfortable with him. Um, so then just to, to hear the news, it was shocking, but uh, I'm excited for him and then uh, I'm a miss. Uh, when I first found out, I was, I was shocked. Uh, I didn't see it coming. I thought he had a couple more years in him. But, um, you know, after uh, talking with him and chatting with him, with just me and him, um, he, he's in a really good place and I'm extremely happy for him. Uh, he left the program in great hands with Coach Dutch. And uh, as long as Coach Fisher is happy, you know, I'm happy for him. Obviously mixed emotions, you know, you're excited for Coach um, in the next chapter of his journey, um, which are sad, you know, because of the impact he has on the community, um, on the team as, as, as a young man, me personally, and then a lot of growth that I have um, in a specific way because of Coach Fisher um, and the way that he, he came into my life and influenced me through the game of basketball. So um, a lot of excitement for him um, and his decision and seeing his reaction to his decision, he's very, very happy with it and for his family, you're excited for them. Um, you know, there's a lot of joy and excitement for Coach Dutcher who was a part of that same process for me and he came into the, the home and recruited me and I came here because of the people. I came here because of the staff, because of how they made me feel and I say this quite often to some of the recruits that we have and people in general, but as cliche as it sounds, my gut feeling was right, you know. Um, these guys took care of me. Um, I played here, um, had some unfortunate injuries, but they never wavered in how they treated me and what they demanded from me on and off the basketball court. Put me through grad school, hired me after, and I've been on staff um, learning the game and, and learning how to become a better man ever since. So uh, mixed feelings with coach. Um, happy for him and, and you know, bummed to see him leave, but I'm glad he'll still be around in some capacity and still have the same type of impact and influence on us as a staff and, as, and for current players coming in. But, um, you know, really excited for Dutch and excited for things moving forward. You know, it's, I have mixed emotions. I'm a, I'm a little sad. You know, I, I loved being with Coach Fisher every day. I loved the wins with Coach Fisher every day, but I also enjoyed learning from the losses and, and all, the, you know, all the, the trips along the way. And, um, but at the same time, very excited for him. He's at peace with it. It makes it a little bit easier for me to be happier for him because selfishly, I would have loved to work for Coach Fisher the rest of my life. Um, but also excited for Coach Dutcher. He's waited there, he's patient, and, uh, but it's a very exciting time for Aztec basketball in general. And I think we have the team that we can continue to win and have the amount of success that Coach Fisher helped build. And uh, we got to build on that amount of success.